Ore. Vault 22 is that one vault in Fallen New Vegas which is overrun by plants. It serves as a very interesting set piece to one of my favorite quests in the game. Despite this, before the making of this video, I genuinely had only a vague understanding of the story of Vault 22 and its significance to Old World Blues and Honest Hearts. If you're like me, you must really hate reading terminal entries and would rather just be told about it. Well, luckily for you, I have compiled all the information about Vault 22, the origin of its downfall, and the fate of its denizens into this video. Let's get right into the fall of Vault 22. Before the war, within the walls of the X-22 Botanical Gardens of Big MT, the catalyst of Vault 22's downfall was created. You see, this particular research station's efforts were focused on botany and how the military can strategically use it. This led to the creation of Buveria morticana, a fungus with deadly potential. Miles away in the Mojave, Vault Tech built Vault 22 which served the purpose of crop experimentation. Their goal was to combat global hunger by enhancing the resilience and yield of crops. This is why, sometime before the war, the lab created fungus Buveria morticana was sent to Vault 22 for experimentation. You see, the reason why this fungus was created by the mines at Big MT was to combat pests that feast on crops. It was initially just an entomopathogenic fungus, which means any member of the kingdom that can infect insects and other terrestrial arthropods, such as mites, ticks, and spiders. The insects would ingest the spores of this fungus, where they would lose functionality of their own body and die. The body of the insect would still be active after death, with the fungus controlling it. Hmm, sounds familiar, doesn't it? What wasn't known to Big MT and vault at the time of the creation of B. Morticana is that the fungus was capable of infecting humans just as well as insects. Back at Big MT, the first case, who we know as Patient Zero, passed away from the fungus. The body was left alone, presumably to be examined later by scientists. When coming back to the location of the body, the body was nowhere to be found. In the Mojave, the scientists in Vault 22 were experimenting with B. Morticana, which led to the spread of the fungus throughout the vault via its airborne spores. The first case in Vault 22 was a scientist by the name of Harrison Peters. Peters was diagnosed with pneumonia and any treatment that was attempted on him would be rejected by his body. Eventually, he died and an autopsy was performed on his body. The autopsy revealed a buildup of fungus in his lungs. Later that day, the cadaver reanimated and became aggressive towards the staff. The body of Peters was locked inside until Vault Security presumably dealt with him. The incident showed a bigger problem at hand, as many of the other Vault residents have been showing symptoms such as a pronounced cough. Knowing that these dwellers were already infected with this fungus, and knowing the possible outcome thanks to Harrison Peters, the sick individuals were quarantined in an attempt to stop the spread of B. morticana throughout the Vault. This was to no avail, however as many if not all dwellers were infected by the fungus. It seems a majority of the population had become what is known as spore carriers. You know, those freaks that we fight in the game. They had soon become uncontainable. The last resort of scientists was to kill spore carriers and possibly eradicate all traces of B. morticana in the process by releasing a flammable gas in parts of the vault where they inhabited and igniting it. Unfortunately for the scientists, it seems the spore carriers were affected by the gas, causing them to attack the scientists and drive them out before the gas could be ignited. The vault was left to be overrun by the spore carriers. Without any supervision, other experiments such as Mantis this Religiosa. and BE-908 grew out of control as well as spread throughout the vault. They continued to spread outside the vault where they can be found in areas such as the Mojave, Zion, and even Arroyo. In the year 2096, 
a little more than 100 survivors from Vault 22 fled to Zion. Upon their arrival to Zion, they encountered a small group of Mexican survivors who, get this, decided to massacre and enslave. Yo, what the fantastic. And it just gets worse from here. It just so happens that these Mexican settlers had a guardian angel watching over them. An angel by the name of Randall Clark, otherwise known as the survivalist. He wished to free the surviving members of the Mexican group from captivity, but saw something that is absolutely just messed up. On February 24th, he went to the Vault 22 camp and witnessed the remainder of the Mexican survivors being cannibalized. Randall Clark, having grown an attachment to these survivors over the past few months, vowed revenge for the genocide of the group. He would proceed to hunt down the Vault 22 refugees, using his rifle, explosives, and booby traps to dwindle their numbers. Over the period of 10 months, the Vault 22 refugees would lose around 80 members due to Clark and the looming fungus that had infected them. The remaining savages of Vault 22 would flee from the area, presumably succumbing to the fungus in their lungs and becoming the spore carriers we see in Zion. One member of the Vault 22 refugees, a woman by the name of Sylvie, decided to separate from the group. The abuse that she had suffered at the hand of the male survivors of the group, as well as the looming threat of the fungal sickness, led to her decision to do so. In the year 2097, she would encounter Randall Clark face to face when she would step on one of his bear traps in Cueva Corache. He found her stuck in his trap, crying in pain, which took him aback. He decided to spare her helping her to heal her wound and teaching her to survive out in the wasteland on her own. They then spent the next three years together, in which they would fall in love and conceive a child. Unfortunately, during the delivery of their child, the child was born breech, meaning it was born bottom first instead of head first. Due to this, their child died during childbirth. In an attempt to perform a C-section on Sylvie, Clark put her under anesthesia, but she would never wake from her unconsciousness later dying from the complications of the birth as well. They were buried south of the Narrows, marking the end of the story of the Vault 22 survivors. <sighs> Jesus, I did not expect this video to end on such a low note. Like I had mentioned before, I had only a vague understanding of the story of Vault 22, its sickness, and the connection between it Zion and Old World Blues, but I do not remember the absolute depravity of the survivors. Sylvie apparently told Randall Clark that the survivors of Vault 22 were children of the devil, which I think is apt for these absolutely cruel, evil people. Researching this video, I actually learned the purpose of Buveria Mordecana. I also learned the mantis and spore plants that we see in Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 2 come from Vault 22 as well, which is pretty cool if you ask me. It is cool to see a connection between Vault 22, the Big MT, and Randall Clark, who in themselves need to be covered in their own separate videos. I hope I helped you understand the full story of Buveria Modicana, Vault 22, and their survivors in this concise video. Let me know what you guys think about this topic in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, thanks for 1700 subscribers, and I'll see you guys next time.